I'd like to call this February the 3rd, 2011 Cookville City Council meeting to order. Uh, could we get a roll call, please? Councilman Anderson. Present. Councilman Woodford. Present. Mayor Swallows. Here. Vice Mayor Epps. Here. Councilman Albright. Present. All present. Thank you. If everyone would please stand for a moment of silence, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. All right, item one, consider approval of agenda as presented. Motion for approval. So moved. Second. Call for the vote. Five yes votes. Motion carries. Uh, old business item two. Consider approval of minutes of council meetings held on January 6th and January the 20th, 2011. I move for approval. Second. Second. Thank you. Call for the vote. Five yes <coughs> votes. Motion carries. All right. Uh, on to the new business <coughs> item three. Consider on first reading ordinance 0110202, amending the zoning code relative to retail package stores, retail beer sales, locations, and set a date for a public hearing to consider on second and final reading. Sponsored, Mr. James Mills. Mayor and Council members, the Planning Commission has completed a reevaluation of the appropriate zoning locations for retail package stores based on the premise that the number of such establishments will be determined by market demand. In developing its recommendation, the Planning Commission expressed a number of goals, including restricting the locations to major commercial corridors, limiting locations in lower income areas, and minimizing the impact on particular uses such as residential areas, public schools, and Tennessee Tech. The recommendation is that zoning code be amended to depict as permitted uses retail package stores in the Central Business District, the CL Local Commercial, CG General Commercial, CR Regional Commercial, and PC. PCD Planned Commercial Development Zoning Districts, provided they are located and accessed on the following major arterials. And these are depicted on the screen, and I'll take them one by one. Spring Street from State Highway 111 East to its terminus at West, West to its terminus at West Ball Street. West Jackson Street from Willow Avenue West to Buffalo Valley Road. Willow Avenue from Broad Street South to City Limits. South Jefferson Avenue from Spring Street South to Bunker Hill Road. East 10th Street from Washington Avenue East, Neal Street and Interstate Drive. And it's also subject to compliance with the provisions of Title VIII of the Municipal Code, and they also approved an amendment to allow the retail sale of beer in the CN Zoning District. The Planning Department concurs with their recommendation. Thank you, Mr. Mills. Uh, do we have a motion for approval? So moved. Second. All right. Motion for approval. Um, any discussion from the Council? Yes, I'd like to make a motion to amend. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to amend the main portion by adding Washington Avenue from Broad Street North to 12th Street and to increase the boundary of South Jefferson from Bunker Hill Road South to Henley Drive. Second. Can we have a motion and a second? Any discussion on the, on the amendment on the floor from the council? Uh, yes, um, Mr. Mills. I want you. I want to thank the Planning Commission for their time that they put into this because they didn't have a lot of extra time to study it like they do some items. And I did attend that meeting, and I listened to their reasoning for for each one of these uh, selections that they did uh, on the major arterials and um, not permitting the neighborhood or the neighborhood commercial in there. Um, I agree with the Planning Commission, and I think that they did a very good job. We, they have restricted it, um, and I think that we need to be more restrictive in doing this at the beginning because once we allow this, once we allow it to broaden, uh, we can't go back and take it back. 
So I, I will vote against the amendment. Thank you. Any other discussion from the council? All right. Any discussion from the audience? Don't we need to get a – I think you need to vote on the amendment before a lot of discussion, I believe. Um, n you mean – no, we're discussing the amendment now. We've got it on the floor and it's been seconded. And then before we – move on we have to vote on the amendment but but get a chance to yeah but the, but there's speak. time yeah isn't that right i don't know oh get out the roberts rules <laughs> let's just go ahead and have discussion okay. uh, any discussion from the audience about the amendment yes sir if you would recognize yourself and then if you could limit it to three minutes if you don't mind yes sir uh, i'm not here to ask anything except go back like the sorry I, I'm stunned when I heard you from a liquor store and then 1,100 people directing this. Uh, I'm not here to speak about the, the, the good and evil about alcohol. We all know that. But I'm talking about the people we serve walking by a liquor store every day. It's going to be devastating on us and on them. Uh, it's been said the biggest insult you could throw in a person's face is to, is to spit in the face. And I tell you folks, look at straight now, that you folks both put that right in our door right there. I, I just, I, I'm assuming you're spitting in my face. And all I'm asking you to do is just like the front page of the Herald Citizen, set it off there at Bronco Hill Road. Now somebody did the homework well, they said we're in And it's still outside the thousand foot perimeter. You're right, it's 1,100 feet. And they, myself, I did my homework. Mm -hmm. But now listen, folks, uh, that, there's, there's, a, there's a letter of the law and there's a spirit of the law. All I'm asking folks to do is there was a spirit of the law. We never asked you, we never asked the city, the state, or the county, or the federal for any money. All we ask you for leanings on that thing. I, I don't think that's too much to ask. That's all I got to say. You know, I hope everybody will be got some Christian folks there. I know you've got a tough job. Mm -hmm. You didn't vote for liquor in. The, the, the cook for I voted against it. But you still have a, you, you still have a commitment to the city, but also to your God, and I hope mm -hmm. you'll take care of this city. Okay? Thank you for your time. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Self. Thank you. <clears throat> We're having some technical difficulties. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was working. Yeah, it sounded like it was working. It's a little fuzzy. It's a little grainy. Mayor, they can use this podium too if they okay. need to. We'll, we'll move on then if that's okay. Well, Mr. Woods, what's on that? Um, if, any other comments? From, yes, sir. If, My name is Steve Taboo, and uh, I'd like to thank, again, the Planning Commission for their uh, decision on how they chose to plan and where they chose to limit. Uh, I'd like to thank City Council. I know I've been to several of your planning sessions now, and you're giving a lot of your time to, to do this. And so, I, again, I do say thank you. I, I would like to point out that uh, Dr. Volpe is on the Planning Commission, and uh, he's the former president of Tennessee Tech, and uh, this was a part of... Uh, what he voted for, as in that, uh, in talking to Dr. Bell, who's the current president, uh, he expressed his concern in, in the same thing of keeping away from tech and shared that the place there at Tenth and Washington, they just purchased Prescott School, and he said they are, uh, it is in their future plans to build either more classrooms or dormitories there behind Prescott and that it was his concern as well of, of the close proximity of that. He shared with me he was going to be calling some of you to, in reference to that. Uh, for me personally, again, I just continue to ask that we consider the fact that, it, especially at 10th and Washington, you are a very short distance from the teak house, from student housing, 
from the new apartments built right behind the IGA, uh, which I, if you ever go in there, there it's probably where a large portion of the commuters that have no cars walk to. And uh, I, I am greatly concerned about uh, the close proximity uh, for the college students population. We have 12 miles there of, of road with a multitude of places that have never been developed with plenty of facilities large enough for these opportunities. That would be my request. Thank you, Mr. Taboo. Sorry for the difficulties. Uh, any other discussion from the audience? All right, seeing none, any more discussion from the council on the, on the amendment, of course. Right. Would you, would you, uh, Jim, would you state your amendment again for me, please? Or sure. Uh, my motion is uh, to amend the main portion by adding Washington Avenue from Broad Street north to 12th Street and to increase the boundary on South Jefferson from Bunker Hill Road south to Henley Drive. All right, thank you, Councilman Woodford. Uh, any other discussion? All right, call for the vote. On the amendment. On the amendment. Three yes votes, no, two no, motion carries on the amendment. On the amendment. Okay, so we, ha we have a motion and a second on the, on the ordinance as well. We need to vote for the, yeah, we need to vote for um, the ordinance, but do we have any discussion on the, on the, just a quick comment about um, all of the planning that has gone into this with the Planning Commission, this council, um, our lawyers, uh, Mr. Shipley, everybody has put in, um, you know, very serious study to this. And one of the things that I've learned in dealing with this is how restrictive the state is on all of these things. We, um, it, like for instance, that it has to be on a major arterial and all that, all of these things have really impressed me that it's so controlled. And um, certainly once we get all of these ordinance hammered out, then the state will control basically the liquor stores in our town and that's state law right i mean once we give them the the once they meet the criteria for us then from that point on it's handled by the state am i correct i believe that's correct yeah jim that's correct yeah so um this is something that the state doesn't take lightly and we haven't taken it lightly but um i'm very satisfied with the attitude and the amount of work that has gone into this. I am too. I want to say, I commend the planning department yes. and, the, and the planning commission. They did a, a one heck of a job. <clears throat> we, we battled this and talked about this and tossed every idea we thought around until we sent it back to the planning commission and it seemed like within an hour they had a, a pretty good idea, better than we had ever had. So uh, we, we thank you guys for everything yeah, you've done definitely. Uh, that really really helped open our eyes uh and and because of that we have made it quite a bit more restrictive than what we originally were even thinking which was i think this is great i think this is a great uh a great compromise a great idea um i, I do want to just speak to the the extension on south jefferson uh especially south jefferson i mean it, that's Interstate 40 is a major, I mean, maybe the most major interstate in, in the U.S. It goes across all of the U.S. And by not giving at least some access south of the interstate, I mean, that cuts off that exit, basically, to, uh, to business. And, uh, I mean, you know, that's where we're trying to get some, some tourist dollars, to be honest with you there. And, and we try to cut it off as far as we could from the rescue mission. Uh, we, we had to have a stopping point, and, and so we got where we felt was a good stopping point so um, anyway I just wanted to to speak to that but any other discussion yeah I've written a few remarks I'm better prepared writing notes than trying to ad lib uh, last November uh, the citizens of Cookville voted on a resolution
to approve retail package stores within the city limits of Cookville. This resolution was passed and as a result of that vote it fell to the City Council to write the ordinances that regulate such business. Uh, because state laws that govern this business are so regulated and restrictive, the City Council needed only to be responsible for writing ordinances that concern zoning and the re residency requirements. The council has worked very hard in the past few months to make decisions on this ordinance that concern retail package stores. The council has been attentive to the citizens of Cookville and transparent in its effort to write these new ordinances. We as members of the city council have a shared passion for continuing to build on the great reputation of Cookville as a great place to live. And we do not take lightly our responsibility as representatives of Cookville to formulate public policy that govern our city. For the past few months, we have heard from a wide range of people and their points of view through numerous council meetings, work sessions, telephone calls, emails, and person-to-person -person conversations. On behalf of the council, I would like to thank everyone who has been involved in this discussion over the past few months. I believe this council was elected with the belief that we as a group would do what is best for all Cookvillians and we are committed to prove it. Thank you. Thank you Councilman Woodford. Any other discussion? All right, seeing none, call for the vote. Four yes. One no. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mills. On to item four. Consider approval of purchase of property at 327 North Willow Avenue for Cookville Regional Medical Center. Sponsor is Cookville Regional Medical Center. Thank you, Mayor Council. Uh, Paul Korth with uh, Cookville Regional Medical Center on, here on behalf of the Board of Trustees tonight. At the last board meeting, um, our Board of Trustees approved the purchase of a piece of property located 327 North Whitney. Uh, purchase price is $200,000 plus closing cost. Property is adjacent to our outpatient imaging center and we'll be using this property in the future for additional parking for that facility. Uh, again, I'm here tonight on behalf of the Board of Trustees requesting your consideration and approval of that property. I'll be glad to answer any questions if there are any. North Willow, right? It is on North Willow, yes. Okay. Uh, do we have a motion for approval? So moved. Okay. All right. Any discussion from the council? Any questions? I can just say that I have been over there to the imaging center and know some people that work there, and I know that there is a real parking issue. There is. Yes, yes. there is. Yes, ma'am. Well, and I've appreciated that as you've gained properties, the way those properties look when you're through with them. And when we drive, when I drive past the hospital, it's just such a nice part of our community and such a beneficial part and and pretty too so that's it's nice too yeah the, the reason for that's the convenience of the patients yeah on that center and parking is one of the biggest conveniences that you can oh, that yeah. you can give so uh, we'll we'll make that additional parking for that center yeah. all right any discussion from the audience on that all right seeing none Call for the vote. Five yes votes. Motion carries. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Gore. All right, item item five. Consider awarding bid for six month rock from the Public Works Department. Sponsors, Mr. Greg Brown. Mayor and Council, we recently bid uh, rocks uh, bid for six months. I would recommend approving the low bidder. Okay. And that's highways. No, that's. Uh, we're not considering that tonight. This is uh, be the next one, I think. Well, it's not in there, evidently. <laughs> is it the Rogers Group? Yes. Rogers Group. Yeah, it's the Rogers Group. Rogers Group, Rogers group okay. is on every, every item, yes. Okay. I move for approval. Second. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Any discussion from the council? No. Any discussion? Does this rock have to last six months? 
<laughs> we hope it will. <laughs> Does it no, dissolve just, if we don't use it? Yeah. <laughs> I just thought the terminology was different. Six month rock. What's the deal with what's the deal with three inch rock? There's no bid on three inch rock. Is it like we out of three inch rock across the state? No, it's stuff? just a different we just bid different kinds and the quarries around here don't make that kind of rock. So. <laughs> Any more questions? Any discussion from the audience? All right, seeing none, call for the vote. Five yes Thank votes, you. motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Brown. All right, this is the uh, portion of the meeting that we open, it, open up the floor uh, to any citizens and or delegations that would like to speak. Uh, which I ask that you come forward, I guess, to this podium since that microphone's out. Uh, and if you would just state who you are and what you're speaking on behalf of, and if you would limit it to three minutes, that would be, that would be great. And we would open the floor. Uh, City Council, I know that uh, you're wrestling over the decision on the ordinance of adding alcohol to our city functions. And uh, I would like to come and suggest, request, uh, that as you consider that, you consider um, separating out Fall Fun Fest as a family-oriented event, as the idea of Family Fun Fest uh, portrays and has been distributed for many years in our community. I know that uh, in talking to several folks that there is a desire for a wine tasting on the square, those types of adult uh, opportunities. And for myself, if I hear wine tasting, I understand that's an adult-oriented event. I'm not bringing my child to that, and therefore, if the city chooses to, to do that in a safe and effective manner, uh, I, I, I personally am fine with that. I, I understand that's an adult-oriented event. For me, Fall Fun Fest has always been a family-oriented event. It has been publicized that way and has been solicited that way by WCTE, uh, by other organizations that have come and specifically requested family event type orientation. And I would request that as you move forward with the uh, ordinance uh, that way that you would consider removing Fall Fun Fest as a separate event uh, and allowing those nonprofit that wish to do the uh, wine tasting events at the different events to be limited to adult understood events and activities uh, at those times. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Taboo. Anyone else? Yes, ma'am. Uh, my name is Peggy Sims. I just want to say I'm just disappointed. I know there's been a lot said about how much work, how much regulation there is of the state over the liquor stores, how much has been done to study this issue. Um, when there were four liquor stores um, suggested, you know, it didn't matter so much to me whether it was a free market deal or four liquor stores. I assumed erroneously that they would be along Interstate Drive around Jackson Plaza area, places, you know, lots of traffic, lots of business. I never envisioned that I might have one in my neighborhood. Um, I live right off East 10th Street, right near the corner of East 10th and Maple, um, within walking distance of Tennessee Tech. Um, I can see things are going to go downhill from now. Um, you know, I appreciate that some people want to go to those businesses. I don't know why they can't drive a few miles. Cookville is a small town. Why do we have to have so many roads so many arterial roads available to put liquor stores on. When people are able to walk to a liquor store, I don't think that's a good thing. That's my comment. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm Celeste Gammon, and I want to talk to you about the liquor at the Fall Fun Fest, not the liquor, but the beer and the wine as well. I agree with Steve Taboo. This is a family event. And what you're doing is, and I understand Alma mentioned a few minutes ago about 
the state controlling, which I know we're talking about two separate issues, but the state controlling, you know, the liquor stores. But also you have to understand you're distributing an uncontrollable substance. And what this does to a person when they drink this, and what this does to the people who drink too much, which a lot of people do, and what this would do to Fall Fun Fest and to families that would come. I ask that you remove Fall Fun Fest from your vote, and I would like for you to consider that. And when you do vote on having the wine tasting and things like that at the other events, which I understand and I think would be great, but I think that there needs to be some kind of limit on that. I don't know if you do like a hand stamp and then after it's marked twice you can't have any more. Unfortunately, you're going to have to babysit this that you're bringing in. And so I just want you to be mindful of that and just to know that, you know, I have been and continue to pray for this council and the decisions that you make. So just wanted to put my two cents in. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Ms. Gammon. Anyone else? All right. Any comments from the council? Certainly this is February, and I'm hoping it is the last of the winter. And um, uh, I wanted to remind people of the events that are coming up at the Drama Center. I think there's a play right now, Doubt. And does it start this weekend or tomorrow night? Tomorrow night. And that um, I hope people are already using our park, even though it doesn't have any grass. Um, my beagle and I have walked that park several times when the weather's been nice and um, look forward to seeing more and more people out there and a couple of times I've run into young children riding their bikes out there and that's that's a great thing so um, once again appreciate everybody coming tonight and stay warm for maybe just a few more weeks before the good weather gets here thank you anyone else I do want to recognize a few guys here on the front row. I believe this is Troop 72. Would that be right? And you're working toward a badge, right? Which badge is that? The communication? Is it communication? Citizenship in the community. Okay. Well, thank you guys for coming. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you learned something. Uh, but thank you for being here. Uh, I guess if that's it, this meeting's adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.